This is Sushant Kuchar and today we are going to talk about what muscle recovery is. In my previous video, I have talked about what muscle breaking is. Uh, so in gym, gym terminology, we say, um, so basically uh, what we do is when we exercise, we break our muscles. Uh, that is the terminology we use. So uh, that doesn't mean that uh, we should not be exercising because we are breaking our muscles and uh, we are making them weaker. Uh, Kind of thing. Uh, we should be exercising because we are breaking our muscles, but they will get recovered. So basically, uh, that is called muscle recovery. Uh, recovering of the muscle after after that breakdown. Uh, so uh, I'll explain this whole video the way I like to understand it and the way I think people will understand it better. Um, so. The, the way I explain it uh, using these pictures might not be the actual way the uh, uh, it looks like in the body. Uh, might not be the actual way it looks like in the body. But uh, it is mostly to understand and to remember. Okay, so let's say uh, this is my bicep muscle and uh, it looks like this. Let's say it might not necessarily look like anywhere close to this necessarily in the body but we are trying to understand so um, this is how my bicep muscle looks I went to the gym I did um, 10 sets of bicep uh, exercises and then I uh, then basically I after my workout right after my workout after I came out of the gym my bus, uh, I had uh, my muscle broken. So this breakdown is not like breaking the muscle; it was a stick and you broke it. Uh, so this is a some sort of tearing in the muscle. So I have the muscle broken. Now this now our body's tendency is to recover the muscle. Our bodies will automatically recover the muscle. And how will that happen? that will happen through food and rest so if we uh, give our body uh, right food and uh, right amount of rest our bodies will recover and um, so for example uh, today i went to gym i did 10 sets of bicep uh, and then i came back home i had my dinner i went in the evening i came back home i had my dinner then i I had a good night's sleep of 8 hours and then I woke up and then I again had my uh, food for the whole day and then again in the evening I went to the gym. Now uh, as I have trained uh, my bicep yesterday, I should not be training it today. I should give it at least uh, rest of 48 hours uh, on a whole. Um, so uh, I'll, uh, I can train any other part, chest, shoulder, leg, back. But I should not be training bicep, I should give it rest. So, uh, now I need not train bicep again. I went home, I had my food again, slept and uh, the routine continues. So, I gave and the food that I was eating was giving my body the right nutrition. So, uh, now my body can recover. It can uh, basically uh, join the broken muscle, you can say that man, it's just to understand. So basically it broke it, now it uh, compiles it again, it joins it again. And so the recovery can happen in three manners. So let's say a good recovery happened and so we started with this stage, we had the broken muscle after we went uh, just after the workout uh, of the gym. and. Uh, when we had uh, the right food in good amount of rest, our muscle recovered and it actually became bigger and stronger than where we started before going to the gym. So that is why we exercise. We break the muscle. We actually break the muscle. We get weaker for some time right after the exercise. But by giving it the right food and rest, we get a stronger muscle, a bigger muscle. That is why we exercise. So we should be exercising because we get stronger. It is our uh, body's 
tendency to recover so let's say uh, that the recovery was moderate and not too good uh, so you might come back to the uh, after recovery you might come back to the original position where you started so so now if you go to the gym you will not feel that you are stronger than uh, this day and uh, in that case you will feel that you are stronger than this day when you have recovered uh, very nicely and you have a bigger and stronger muscle now now and the third case is when you have poor recovery you did not give it enough rest you did not give it the right uh, nutrition the right foods so your body could not recover properly so you ended up in a stage which is worse than the stage you started with so basically you ended up uh, uh, with a muscle weaker than the muscle you started with although it recovered with uh, the any amount of food or uh, uh, rest you gave uh, to the body but it uh, the rest and the food uh, was not right enough to recover uh, for it to recover properly so it uh, could not recover properly and this stage after the improper recovery is worse than the stage we started with uh, and that also happens with over training when you are training too much thinking that you will have a bigger muscle or bigger body uh, when you are uh, over training your body cannot recover properly even when the food and rest are in place even when you are uh, giving your body the right nutrition and your rest is in place your body is not able to recover properly because you over trained you did a lot of workout or you did too frequently uh, or workout for the same muscle so that can also be a case so basically that is how muscle recovery works um, uh, i hope i explained everything in quite decent detail so you can have good recovery you can have a moderate recovery where you come back to where you were or you can have a poor recovery uh, either because you did not give it the right food or uh, right rest or because you overtrained even when you gave it the right food and the uh, right rest so uh, if you like this video please like it if you have any comments or questions put them in the comment box if you like the channel please subscribe if you want to receive notifications Notifications for my future videos. Turn notifications on. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.